Everybody, it's your girl not to portray with 1220 and I have to give my most sincere apologies because I know it has been weeks since I have made a video but I have been dealing with a lot at work and otherwise and I just started school yesterday so I'm just getting my bearings but I wanted to come and do my Real Housewife of Atlanta episode I believe this is episode 6 review episode 4 and 5 review will be combined and I'll probably try to post that right before I post this so you're not even probably going to see this. So why am I talking about it anyway? So I'm going to do this different approach. I'm going to do my little recaps during the commercial breaks. In hopes. Because you know I find that I'll be missing and forgetting a lot of things that I'll be wanting to say. So let's get in really quick to the photo shoot. I'm really excited to see the Alter Ego photo shoot. Um, and I'm really just tired. Can I just say this? I'm very tired of Sheree. Please forgive my appearance. I'm just in from the gym and I was like rushing to get home before this started. I'm really tired of Sheree feeling as though she is somebody. Not to say that she isn't because she is on this television show and she does have a, some sort of uh, visibility. She is probably a J or K list celebrity. Whereas, you know, I am nobody. But, um, this, you know, I feel like I'm going to get the minx on my nails because Rihanna and Beyonce get it. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, I don't know. I just feel like she's too old for that carrying on girl. Raise your kids. Candy and Nini. Candy and Nini. I still feel like Candy is like judging Nini. And Nini is um, a bit out of line for saying she's not ghetto. Girl, stop. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm interested to see how this um, episode is going to progress. Um, and what all the tears are all about, honey, because Candy is just a crime. And I'm um, getting to, <laughs> I love me some Nene. Favorite quote of this segment. I'm not trying to prove to the world that I can sing. I'm just trying to prove to the world that I can sing better than Kim. <laughs> Get in. So am I the one, the only one that didn't know that Party for the Party was written as a country song? Like, I don't know, maybe I missed that in the first season. But I thought that Party for the Party was like a joke. But, um, yeah, that kind of threw me when they were listen to, listening to the song in the car. Right. And, okay, first of all, let me side-eye Bravo for the little 30-second clips. Um, like, I didn't even know they were back from commercial and not, you know, I looked at the television, all of them are belly dancing. And then, you know, just as fast as it started, it's over. I'm going to be needing a subtitle or, you know, blah, blah, blah. What are they doing? They just plop. Now they're taking belly dancing. Are they at the gym? Like, what was... Bravo. Is it that we have a lot of footage and we don't have time to actually produce it together into a cohesive show? For Candy to say that she's not ghetto, but then in the very next segment to do the lift and drop into the split and I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So I'm very excited and I'm very, very proud of Lisa. Lisa represented, she held me down. She completely came through on that, you know, the hollering and screaming the back and forth, you know, I'm really not here to prove to you that you lied but it's all about you know respect because we have to be in the same space we all have to be on this show and make this money so let's just do it agree to disagree and move forward i'm all about that yes i'm really excited um i could see that kim was draining lisa yeah i gotta tell all the eye rolls <laughs> while she was talking and you know side eye at the whole i was reading the text out loud and i did say it girl Whatever. Um, Candy and Sheree out to eat. That was cute, you know. Shout out to AJ's family member that was in a car accident. I hope everything worked out with that because that really is a sad story. Um, Makeup less Sheree. It's frightening. I am too tired of Kim thinking that every black woman is trying to pull her wig off. I just have you ever seen a parent and you just felt like they're 
parent membership card should be revoked by like the National Association of Good Parents. Kim Zosiak is the first candidate for dismissal as far as I'm concerned. Um, for her to have a fast food, like for her to have this fast food diet for her children and I just think that that is just so, ugh, she drains me. And I'm not impressed with the fact that she has an all black staff. <laughs> and for her to say that that young lady is the black version of her, that's so disrespectful. I feel like calling Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson or somebody to come and, you know, speak on my behalf. Um, the alter ego shoot, I'm enjoying. I'm really in, in, into that. Lisa did her good um, posing. Real cute. I think the Girl Scout look was precious. And the bad girl. I don't know. They kind of went overboard. Like, why would a grown woman in a corset and spandex be pushing down a little girl? Like, they could have made, like, a bad black little girl. No. Um, I'm enjoying the fact that Candy is elected to make her alter ego shoot a statement. Kudos. Um... Kim, oh my favorite my favorite quote of this segment Kim wants to be the Stepford wife and the mistress when she's a mistress already <laughs> that's why I love me so many leaks oh, so much so much so much so much to say I love Candy's shoot I thought it was phenomenal Sheree did a good job Dwight pumped in those shoes honey he had a walk 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 it was clear that he had practice. Just saying. Um, I agree that he should have had him an alter ego photo shoot as well. I'm sure that that's going to be coming down the line. I'm enjoying Nene is doing her good directing. I thought it was going to be real loud, but she really is, you know, evoking the characters. I'm appreciating that. Nene is thick. Like, as a thick girl myself. If it's sometimes, you know, I feel good seeing another thick girl on television because it lets me know that, you know, I might have a shot. But sometimes it's a little offsetting. I don't I can't I don't know why, but you know, I kinda revert back to, you know, I'm thinking that's not good. Cause you know, that's been a big part of my existence, but whatever. I'm getting over that. And I just had to address um when Sheree and Kim were in the dressing room alone together and Sheree called Kim and her facial expression was like, Oh shit. Like <laughs> She didn't really know what to say. Um, Sheree is bipolar. And I think that Kim would have had, would have been within good reason to like shade her. Like for her to be like Kim and just, you know, commence talking about. I mean, I understand it's for Candy and there's kind of like an emergency tragic situation involved. But still, you tried to pull my wig off on Peachtree Street. Like we don't have anything to discuss. Like. That's what I would have needed Kim to say, but Kim don't have no sense. So why am I even surprised that she was just like, yeah, girl, whatever you say, I'm scared you're going to pull my wig off, so I'm going to go along with the party. Ugh. Yeah. So that pretty much wraps up my episode review for episode six. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, but I thank you guys for watching. I thank you guys for bearing with me. Um, I'm going to try to do better about getting the videos out on time. I got a couple of videos that I need to put out this weekend. So hopefully during holiday weekend I can get that together. But I'm off to finish up my reading for class. And I'll talk to y'all soon.